Hi, my name is Jan. Welcome to Cobwebs and Chords. Today, we're going to have a conversation over cups. Today's cup is going to be filled with tea and the conversation is going to be about these books. So first, let's get tea brewing because that's what we're going to make today. We're going to use this here David's Tea Variety Pack and it's actually called um, Top Teas of 2018. And let's see, what do we want to try? There's all kinds of good stuff in here and things that I have not tried yet. I'm sure many of you guys have. Mm. There's this fruit infusion called Peanut Butter Cup. This decadent blend of almonds and chocolate tastes just like the real thing. Let's put that to the test. All right, it's low caffeine. It's called Peanut Butter Cup. Peanut Butter Cup, Peanut Butter Cup. Let's see if we can find it. Maybe this one. Peanut Butter Cup, first guess. That's pretty handy. All right. So today's mug that we're using is a brand new one to me. It was on the Boxing Day sale with David's Tea. Ooh. That does smell peanut butter. It smells peanut buttery. It, um, I think it was under, or just over $10. It is the Nordic mug in glass, clear glass. And uh, I'm. this is the second Nordic mug I have now and I'm just really enjoying them. Let's get this tea in here. Sometimes my kettle leaks. We don't want it to leak onto the books. I think that's great. The tea is floating. I don't want to give it too much water. Let's see how long it said. I forgot to read that. Five minutes. Hey, can you set a timer for five minutes, please? Okay, five minutes and counting. So while this is brewing, I wanted to tell you about a couple of books and magazines that I'm completely in love with. So for Christmas, I received this publication, Good Company, the Community Issue. It's kind of like magazine. The feel of the cover is luxurious, like that feels so good. It's that matte, but it's smooth. It almost feels like a little bit of waxiness to it. So my hands are very dry today, but it doesn't even feel it. So that is great. Throughout the magazine is just stories among stories among stories. Like, there's no ads. I don't see ads. It's wonderful. So that's where it's like a book, but it's kind of like magazine. I don't know what do they call these? Zines? It is wonderful. So I received this, like I said, for Christmas. And um, I found out that they were doing one magazine or book every six months. So the second one was out, so I rushed out and ordered that one right away because I wasn't quite sure if they were like limiting the number of runs or not, if it would be like a normal book or not. Just got this one yesterday and I can't wait to really dive into it. Like, ugh. So where do these good company magazines come in to play with In the Company of Women? I think this is probably my favorite book. Absolutely, hands down, favorite book. If you, especially if you're a female and you're wanting inspiration about, you know, creativity and entrepreneurship, it's just perfect. So with this book, I got this book last year and I actually, I, ooh, ooh difficult to show you guys. I actually went through and I read this book front to back. Like I didn't skip around or anything like that. I woke up every, you know, weekend morning and I got a cup of drink of, you know, it was probably coffee on the weekends in the morning. I do enjoy one cup of coffee in the morning and then I usually switch to tea. So as you can see though, I highlighted things that like spoke to me. So, let's see what this was. Quickly adjust to feedback and change. Yeah, pretty good. What you seek is seeking you. 
roomy. So I just went through and as things were talking to me, I like highlighted them. I felt like that way that they would sink into my head more and I almost feel like I should reread this book again. Like it was just, oh, it was great. Being popular is overrated, Kathleen Haina. She also says, uh, mix what you love to do with what you care about changing most. And yeah, I find that it's just, it's a very inspiring book. To put my own, my own mox oxygen mask on before helping others. So the way that book, this book works is that there was a series of questions and the same questions were posed to different women and they were photographed in their space. So it is amazing. Mary Rarity Fletcher. She's a dancer and a choreographer, and it says, the question was, in moments of self-doubt or adversity, how do you build yourself back up? And she says, basically, I give myself a good talking to and say, if you want to change it, you have to take control and just roll up your sleeves and do it. Lead with love. Such wise women. Like, this is just... You can't do it all. You need to choose what's most important to you and go after it. And that can change at different points in your life. So it's important to be flexible and to react to the moment. Put your efforts towards the things that are important to you and that you do best. The things that only you can do. It's, this, this book is life-changing. I really enjoyed it and I'm very excited about these magazines and I'm buzzing so that means our conversation time is up. Let's have a taste of this tea. What do you guys think? Have you tried it? Do, 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 do. Hmm, smells weirdly peanut buttery. <laughs> now remember this is David's Tea Peanut Butter Cup. Let's just let that cool a second before we can actually give it a good review because I think it's a bit too hot. Now this here book, uh, In the Company of Women, so it says inspiration and advice from over a hundred makers, artists, and entrepreneurs. It's by Grace Bonney. She's the founder of Design Sponge. So yes, I absolutely adore and love this work. I love this one. Look, I don't compare myself to others. I'm not in it. I'm not in a competition. Here's a good one for anybody that is thinking that, oh, it's too, it's too gone, it's too far, too far in life. At what, this is the question that was asked. At what point in your life did you first learn about your field of work? What called you to it? And who answered this question? Linda Roden, stylist, beauty entrepreneur of New York. Like, look at that lady. She says, I could not find a product I liked for my skin, so I created my own. I was 59. Like, just such inspiration. I think I need to reread this book for my mental health. <laughs> and I am very much so going to enjoy these two. All right, let's try this. Now I always like to say, of course, that everybody's taste buds are different and that's why it's so great. So just because I do or don't like something doesn't mean that you do or don't like something. I have a hint of peanut butter. It's not bad, it's nice and warm. Yep, not bad. Nothing I would seek out. Let's just leave it at that. So I hope you're able to find one of these books or magazines or a cup of tea to enjoy today. If you like this video, it would be very helpful if you give it a thumbs up for me 
and it would be especially delightful if you subscribed. So hit the little subscribe bell down there. Until next time, take care. I wonder how long I can do this.